Good evening everyone, this is Coach A checking in from the second floor of Pioneer Street Market, also known as PSM. We are located inside HMR Parking Compound. This is along Reliance Street from the city of Magdaluyong and we are just across TV5. In case one of the few um, Tuesday and Thursdays you're going to be available, you can join us here live. 7.30 Tuesday and Thursday and tonight we're coming in live so we have people on the house. Nasa na mga tao sa bahay? Alright, so... This is not a canned sound and are, um, I just want to tell you that there are really real people in the house, beautiful souls in the house and the reasons why you cannot find them, you cannot see them on the camera because of, for two things, number one is their privacy, number two, that's really the beauty and the blessing of coming over because you meet real people, beautiful souls, beautiful faces and beautiful hearts. Where are the beautiful hearts in the place? Alright, so... If you are commuting in the future, if you want to come over and see us, if you are commuting, you can reach us accessibly uh, through Boney MRT Station. Okay, you get off in there and beside and uh, beside um, McDonald's, there's a tricycle that you can take and ask them to bring you to HMR Parking Compound and Pioneer Street Market is inside HMR Parking Compound. d -Cup Coffee Republic is on the second floor. So this is brought to you by okay, d -Cup Coffee Republic. We exist to inspire people and help transform lives. Uh, this is um, Strengthening Thursday. You're joining me for Coaching for the Soul. And for tonight, we're going to be talking about strengths in number. So do you believe that there is strengths in number? Do you believe that the more the merrier? Do you believe that um, the more people, the more possibility and opportunity for you to rise up and for you to win battles and wars and life? Or do you believe that the more numbers, mas magulo, mas mahirap? So let's going to talk about that in a while. I'm a certified life coach. For the for those of you who see me for the first time, just in case we have never met before and you're watching this on a replay or a shared video, I'm Coach A. I'm a dead porto. Uh, a lot of people knows me as Coach A. And there are two things that I do as a coach. I coach people back to life of freedom, joy, happiness, and life of in control. Um, specifically, I empower people to be mentally fit so you can stay alive and live beautifully. My personal advocacy is mental wellness. I believe that regardless of your mental conditions, I don't know if you're clinically challenged, if you are mentally challenged, if you are clinically diagnosed, no matter what it is, it is today. Uh, I am a testimony and there's a lot of people in the house that testify that regardless of your mental condition, you can live a beautiful life, you can be functional, you can achieve your goals and practically, okay, you can still have your visions on set and online and on track. If you are watching right now live, okay, we would appreciate if you can give us some emojis, tell us if you can hear us clearly with the sounds. In case you missed the first part and you're not able to hear the first part very clearly, don't worry, we normally upload um, a replay of this that is uploaded in YouTube. So in a while, um, before before dawn, you normally get the, the link from the YouTube channel so you can hear it in um, HD, okay, and a, a clearer version. Now, I started with um, asking my, my guests, okay, before I go online, okay, if they believe in numbers. And most of the people on, on floor right now said, yes, they believe in numbers. I only have one guest that says, depends, okay, uh, depends what the number does to you. At times, it made you win. At times, it made you lose. And my question is, which I'm going to throw into you, okay, I want you to remember a time where you really made it in life, you succeed, you made it simply, simply because there were numbers, there are people with you. And on the other side of the coin, I want you to remember if you are a person who missed, who failed, okay, and no, really didn't have a very good experience in the past simply because you were in a group on a team, all right? And you said, if only I'm alone, I would have made it better, I would have won, I would have made it. So if you have those experiences, if you're kind enough and you want to share and inspire other people, share it in the comment below. Now, if you are watching this on a replay, and just in case some of the thoughts that I'm going to be sharing with you is something that tickle your brain, and you believe that, oops, uh, I'm going to clarify this, I have my thoughts, then you can write it in the comment below still, or you can message me directly. A dead Porto is my personal messenger. You can also check me out at Coach A page. I also have Coach A coaching community. I also have Life Coach Philippines. In either way, you can message me, and definitely I would respond to you, um, to your questions or inquiry. Another thing that I do here, here in Dika Coffee Republic is I do represent the Life Coach Training Institute that is based in Dallas, Texas, USA. I am the global partner for Asian region and I do certification class here in the Philippines face-to-face. -face. So in case you are a coach who are the coach in the house, we have coaches in the house right now, certified life coaches in the house. 
So far, by far, right now, we've got around 72 certified life coaches. Of course, the, the four will be certified this coming Saturday, but so far, in 10 months of operations, we've got 72 coaches in the house. In case, okay, you can grab it for yourself. So, let's see mga coaches. If you are a naturally gifted coach, who are the naturally gifted coach? If you are a person who is a go-to in your family, you are the go-to in your in your offices, you are the go-to person uh, wherever you go. You, like you are a person that a lot of people would always consult with you, ask your, your comments, ask your advices. You know, people who would really listen and value uh, the way you guide them. Then you are a naturally gifted coach. Now, we've also got people who are what I call, or who I call um, accidental coaches. Who are the accidental coaches? You happen to be in the corporate place, you happen to be in a, a team lead, you happen to be in network marketing, you, you happen to be where there's a lot of people under you and you simply don't have a choice but to, okay, to coach them. So then you are as an accidental coach. Now, in case, okay, you wanna professionalize your coaching, I invite you to join our two-day certification program here at Teacup Coffee Republic. Batch 12 is coming up right next on October over 20 and 27 so okay if okay if you are um, either a naturally gifted or an accidental coach and you want to start professionalizing what you do you want the, the tools you want the skills you want the resources please come over check it out what we do in this place and we would gladly welcome you to our profession all right now for those of you okay even the people on floor if you are the first time joining me and if you want to see um, am I a coach? Okay, so why, who are the people on the house that are not certified coaches? Can you just raise your hand? Okay, if you want to know if you are gifted as a coach, if you have what it takes to be a coach, all right, you simply send me a message and I could send you an assessment form. Okay, the ass assessment form stays with you and uh, at the bottom of the assessment point, form, you can practically see if you are gifted or you can be welcome or this profession is for you. Okay, by the way, if you, in case life coaching is something that is new to you, life coaching is the second fastest growing industry in the world today next to IT. Of course, this might not be really the thing or you may not have heard of this wonderful profession in the Philippines, but you can check this with Mr. Google. We are the number two, okay? We are top two of the second fastest growing industry in the whole world, and there must be a reason why we are. So we invite you to take a look at the profession and see if this profession is something that you could really thrive with, all right? So, um... If you are there, if you can hear us, please give us an emoji, give us a comment, and say, I'm here, okay, co coach, I got you. And again, um, your, your questions are welcome. Now, we're going to be talking about numbers, and I'm going to dive into really how you build a group, a team, okay, with a culture of championships, okay? Who wants to be champions here? Who wants to be champions, all right? So, individually, you want to be a champ, right? You want to be a champion. And how much more if you can be in a group with a spirit, with an attitude, and even with a culture of ch championship? Y you want that? Um, for those of you, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna share, or I'm not gonna say the name of the team, bakami magalat, okay? But I'll tell you that there, uh, I'll, I'm gonna start my my sharing with you with a basketball team. All right, um, it's an international basketball team, okay? Who won? Okay, who won the championship? They never been winning, and according to the manager, they've been accustomed. Okay, they've been accustomed to the culture of losing. Have you heard that? And also uh, during one of the the press release, okay, and and um, press time, uh, the managing director, I believe, said we have been accustomed to the culture of losing. That's so sad. That's so sad. I, um, if it, anyone in the house was accustomed to losing. Don't, don't get accustomed to that, all right? But you see, I'm sure you've met people who have these cognitive distortions that have past experiences and believe that I'm not gonna win. You, you know, that's not for me, all right? That, you know, anything I tried, never prosper, never drive, whatever, or again, you're, and some people will tell you this, some people will, ayan ka na naman, magsisimula ka na naman, you never made it, and who encountered those people? Nakarinig na kayo ng ganong tao, and you call them nega. Right? So, in a world, um, we, we, we've got that. You know? we, we got people who, who are accustomed to culture of losing. Alright? Okay. Can you just smile to the person next to you? 
Yes. Okay. Okay. Come on now. Okay. All right. So here's here's a theme. Okay. This is a beautiful story. Okay. You can you can Google this. Okay. Here's an international basketball team who been losing for years. Okay. I'm talking about decades. Okay. And they said they were just playing for the sake of playing. They were just playing for the sake of just being there. Okay. And but they have been accustomed to uh, the culture of losing. And for the first time in their lives, they bagged the championship. First time. Would you like to know what they've done? Yeah. Here's the thing. Um, a new batch, a new group of uh, coach, okay, came in. Came in. Um, for a couple of months, they studied the whole team, worked with the team, watched the team grow. Okay, no different to, a certif to certified life coaches. Normally, if you work with a coach, normally your coach allow you to do your thing and watch you over. I study how you're doing things and really coach you out. Okay, I have a, co I have a client on, on floor and she said, yeah, that's me. All right, and that's practically what the coach and the coaching team did. Okay, they watched the, the, the team play, okay, play for a certain time and of course watching them still lose. All right, but here's the thing. Okay. On that crucial moment, okay, on that crucial um, season, okay, that was right the first, uh, I think that's the last season that they could hit the championship on that year. And here's what the coaching, the, the lead of the coaching team did. You know what he did? He called upon the big man, the main man, uh, however you call it, the, the, the man who really pulled the show, pulled the game, and made all the winning. You, you got that, right, in, in basketball. Okay, so he called the man, and he said, all right, Here's the thing. Um, normally, the big man, the main man, would always be part of the starting line. Yes. Right? Yes. Right? Okay. So, here's the thing. Here's what the coach did. He said to the main man, okay, for this season, you're not going to be the starter. You're going to be on the bench. How many of you tell, would agree with me that being the big man, the main man, and being on the bench, it's difficult? You know that story? Okay. How many of you would believe it's a difficult thing? If you are the big man and the main man, how would you react? Hmm? Humble? Some? Iba? React? mag aaklas Tama? mag sentimento di asukal di patis? Right? Right? And we'll do the bad mountain, right? Here's the thing. You know what the, the big man, the main man did? Obediently submitted to the coach. Obediently submitted, trusted the coach. All right. And here's the man. Came game after game, all right, game after game, not a starter. Some of the games never get to play. On the bench. But here's the man, all right? He continued to do what he needs to do. Attended practice, play with the team, all right? Encourage the team, never badmouth the coach. Never, not a word, not a word, okay? Of course, there's a lot of things in between, which is really a very sweet story, but I wanna pull through to the end of the story. On the final moment, on the final, on the really defining games, I think that's how you call it, defining moment. Okay, on the final defining moment. Okay, so here's the big man, the main man, sitting on the bench. That's been his doing for the whole season. Sitting on the bench. He was on the bench as usual. Here comes the coach. Get on the, on the floor and the coach said, get up there, you're starting. Like everybody said, what? Yeah, get up there, starting. You imagine what happened. The main man, the big man, sitting on the bench for the whole season with all the rest, with all the mind of setting, watching the game, starting the final blow. What do you think happened? He was amazingly unstoppable. And the rest of the story, they backed the championship ever for the first time. That's a real story. You can check it on the screen. Yeah. They simply bagged the championship for the first time. Never ever it happened in history and he would walk around, all right, bringing that 
that trophy, saying that's it. That what it means, their strength in number. Right? So they won it ever. I think if I remember it, it's about 40 years. They never won the championship. First time ever, simply because the main man stood still, patiently watching the team, studying the strategy, and really getting all the rest. And when it's time, the coach said, take it on, you're starting. He was unbelievably unstoppable. And they bag it to the championship. Pwede. Sige, pumalak pa ka, coach. Alright? Why am I starting with that? Because a lot of times, okay, winning, winning, and defeat, triumph and defeat is dependent on the posture of your heart. I want to start with that man having the posture of, as you said, humility. It was very humbling. This it, I, I am yet to ver validate if the man, the big man is mayabang, I, I, I don't know, or the coach simply prepared the big man for the last throw. I'm not sure. I'm not the coach. So maybe the coach have seen that, that you've been stretching the big man for the longest time. You know, he, he might could have been tired. And all it takes is for the big man to have all the energy, all the final blow, and he will be unstoppable, which exactly how the coach have seen it. So are you ready? Okay. Now, here's the thing. There are three things that comes into play if you want to see the strength in numbers. Three things. Whether at home, whether in the corporate, whether in basketball, whether in any teamwork, there are three things, okay, that comes into play if you want to see the strength in number. Because many times, okay, you don't see the strength in number. You don't see that. Okay? Many times, sabi nyo, the more the merrier, I'll tell you, the more, the more magulo. Okay? I've, I've got this in my, in my professional stand. I always say that me, too many cooks spoil the broth. You, you've heard that? Yeah. Okay. Many people coming into play and really coming in with all their superiority, with all, all their uh, entitlements, with all their expertise. I'm good at it, da, 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 and everything. Normally, what happens, you fall flat in your face. All right. So the strength in number comes into the reality that indeed, the more the stronger. The more, okay, more warriors, more fighters, da da da. But you know, more fighters, more warriors, mas mahirap i-manage. Yes? Okay, so, at home, at work, at play, no matter where you look at it, there are three things I, wanna, I want to really share with you if you want to find the numbers being your strength. Number one, are you ready? Ready? Yes. Your purpose. Your purpose. What's your purpose in the team? When you talk about purpose, you talk about your mission, your goal. All right. What's your purpose? Why are you in the team? You know, there are people in the house, there are people in the team, there are people in the company, they, they belittle themselves. They said, I would always be the second child, I would be always the middle child, I, they will always tell me to do this and this, and I will always be the second hand and everything. And you complain too much without understanding what is your role, all right? It's like, if you are the vice president in a class, the vice president in a country, you vice president, normally, they said, you're at good, if the president goes off. Kung namatay yung presidente, edi may role ka. Pag buhay yung presidente, wala kang role. Many times they say that, that you are just no good as the second runner-up. In our company, I'm the chairman of the board, I have my OM as our vice chairman. And people would say, no, you're no good as a vice chairman until the chairman gets off or the chairman dies. But obviously, I think my team doesn't want me to die, right? I, I, I believe so, okay, until at this moment. Okay, so what I'm saying here, do you know that if you are the second, I'm talking about the purpose, okay? If you understand clearly your purpose, if you are the second person, meaning you are the next in line, you are the person in close contact with the leadership, don't you see the point that you've got all and each of every opportunity to learn? To learn, 
to learn and to learn. That is your purpose. That is your goal. Just to learn. To watch closely and clearly. So anything happens. That's true. Anything happens to the main man, the group, the team, continues. Yeah, you've seen this at play at work, at home. All right? You've got the father. Oh, what's, what does the father do? The head of the family, right? The mother, the wife would always be the suitable helper. Correct? But if the wife and the husband works closely, okay, anything happens to the father. What happens to the family? They continue. They survive. The father gets off. The father dies. The father goes to another family. Whatever happens, if the mother is closely looking into the leadership, the children continue. Agree, disagree? Okay, you can, yeah, you can give me a times up in there. Okay, you can smile with me. Okay, okay, this is just point number one. I have three points. Okay. So, you, you, you kind of understand that you don't pity yourself for being number two. You don't say, like, I'm no good as the second runner-up, or I'm no good as, you know, just the one supporting you always. But you have heard this always at play, right? A lot of competitions happen because the next person who's supposed to be watching, who's supposed to be closely studying the game, would say, ah, that's not me. Let the leader do the works. Lagi na lang akong tagaligpit, lagi akong tagaligpit ng kalat mo, lagi akong tagasunod. You complain a lot without you understanding what is your purpose. You see that at, you see this this mechanics at work, you see this at home, you see it in the in the team, right? If you are in the bench, okay? I don't play basketball, but my husband does and you know, I've seen a lot of basketball games. Dati gusto ko po ng Ginebra, so wala na si Joe Ruski. So wala na din. <laughs> Ganun lang. Oo, uh, fans po ako ni, ni Joe Ruski. I know a lot of people don't like him, but yun lang, gusto ko lang siya. Bakit walang rason? Basta gusto ko lang siya. Bakit ba? Okay, so wala. Gusto ko lang talaga siya. I don't know. Um, a lot of people say, oh, you're no good. You're a bench. Diba? Nasa bench seater ka lang, nagbubutas ng bangko. You, you've heard that. But you see, I would always realize, I would always see this. Those people on the bench, yung punong-punong ng pahinga, yung mga final moment, ito yung pinatago, pinatawag eh, diba? Tapos sila yung pagka, uh, ano ba yan, yung pinalalabas na, kasi sobra-sobra na yung mga offenses, labas, ganun. Di ba pumapasok yung mga bench people? Eh di sana, yung mga bench seater, ang tag- Dati po ito, sasabihin ko, tagal-tagal mo na nakaupo, wala ka pang magawang tama. No, dati po yon hindi na ngayon. So, you know that feeling, you've been watching the game all throughout, you've been rested, so sana nung time mo na, diba? Yun, yun na yun eh, winning shot yun eh, sana ginawa mo. But simply because you're not ready to take over, simply you're not ready to do your share, there you go. Natalo. Okay? So, it's you, alright? In a family, diba? If you are a wife and you feel that wala naman akong kwenta sa bahay na to eh. Ano lang ako. Um, to all the mothers out there, if you're watching, come on, give me an MOG. Um, a lot of mothers would say, um, housewife lang ako. Please don't say that. There's no such thing as housewife. Ang hila po kayong maging housewife. Subukan nyo po. Full housewife? Hello? Diba? Mula maghapon hanggang gabi. Diyos ko. Diba? It, it's difficult. But you see, you always say, housewife lang ako. You don't say that. Or you say, um, and many, many people would say, yun lang, yun ang ginagawa mo, subukan mo maging housewife. Tingnan ko pag hindi masira ang ulo mo. Lalo na kung ang dami mong anak. At lalo na kung wala kang anak. So pareho lang yun, di ba? So, you don't say you're just a housewife. Come on. The, the integrity of the home, how your children's gonna be raised is in your hands. So you, you just don't say that, I'm just a housewife. And for those people who are single parents, you just pack yourself inside the closet and say, uh, I'm a single parent. Sa kababa pa yung ulo mo. Why? Great children. I've known great people. I've known great children raised by single parents. Mabuhay ang mga single parents in the house. Oh, I wanna honor you. Yeah, yeah. Hindi po yan bola. Hindi po yan bola. I've worked, you know, many years back in, 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 in the church, no? Um, I have a leader who said, she wanna raise me to um, minister to married women. And I said, maybe she, we prayed wrongly or God have answered us wrongly because while I wanted, John knows this, I, I wanted really to minister to handle married women, guess what happens? I got, okay, once married, never been married, waiting to be married. I, I never really had, a, you know, a wife in the house, in my team. 
almost all of them never been married, once married, waiting to be married. Ba, yung parang may mali sa prayer, di ba? <laughs> Iba dumating. But, sabi natin, married. Diba? May, may, may leaders know the high mysteries. Diba? Hindi talaga eh. Iba pinadala. But, you, I realize it's because there's so much value being a single parent. No, I don't want to tap on that. I'm not a single parent. I'm, I'm blessed with marriage. I'm blessed with a husband of 25 years by December. Wow. Konti na lang. Diba? We're turning 25 years. I'm so happy with that. But mabuhay yung mga single parents. I'm not only talking of the single mom. I'm even talking of the single dads. Coach Joel, if you're watching, mabuhay ka. Yeah. Imagine a single parent, a single dad raising a child. Coach Romel. Ba? Two kids. Wonderful. So, you, you just don't say, this is just my role. Who said so? Yes, you might be alone. Alright? In the house. Okay. Right? Minsan yung mga bunso at saka mga action date gitna. Yan. Sino dito yung may, may middle child syndrome? Who are the middle child? In the house. Taas ang kamay. Yan. Yung mga middle child, I wanna address to you. Uh, I wanna address you. Um, normally daw yung mga middle child, sila daw yung depressed, sila daw yung kawawa. Kasi daw yung palagi silang takuna ng pangalawa. Tapos, alam mo yun, laging kawawa kasi yung bunso, paborito. Yung panganay, lagi na una. Yung bunso, la, yung gitna, palagi putusan. Hey, don't you realize, panganay po kasi ako eh. But here's the thing. Kung ako ay gitna, yan. kung ako ay gitna, pero panganay po ako, alright? Kung ako ang gitna, ang ganda. Alam mo bakit? Oh, yung mga gitna, mabuhay yung mga gitna. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sige, dali. Alam niyo, why? Why? I'll tell you why. Isn't it beautiful if you are in the middle, you've got elder people in the house, you've got atis or kuya na pwede mo hingian ng budget? Eh, ano na ka eh, di ba? Tapos, eto yan, may bunso na pwede ikaw yung leader. Eh, ikaw naman yung nakaporma. Oh, di ba? Ang ganda. You get the both worlds. Tama. Get na yun eh. Pero hindi ko talaga maintindihan bakit yung mga gitna, sila yung maraming issue sa buhay. Sarap kaya maging gitna. Hindi nga lang ako gitna, but I look at it, right? I mean, hirap kaya maging panganay, supukan mo maging panganay. Oh. Huh? Sino mga panganay dito? Ang hirap kaya, di ba? Oh, lahat ng expectation nasa iyo. Oh, lahat na lang nasa iyo. Tapos, naiinggit pa sila sa iyo. Ikaw kaya maging panganay, palit tayo. Oh, pero may beauty ang pagiging pangana. Ganun talaga. <laughs> Una-una yan eh, di ba? May blessing ang mga firstborn. Yun lang, di ba? All I'm saying, all I'm saying, in a group, ano ba talaga purpose mo? Ano ba talaga purpose mo? You feel lost. Kaya po nagkakagulo-gulo, kaya hindi kayo manalo-nalo, whether at work, as a family, Uy, ang pamilya po, laban yan ha. Pinakamalaking laban sa pamilya. O, pag nabreak ang pamilya mo, ibig sabihin, may nanalo sa laban. Di ba? Well, no offense, man. But I'm saying that our family, okay, sa lahat po, <laughs> di ba, ang, ang araw-araw po na pamumuhay natin ay pakikipaglaban para sa pamilya natin. If you you are uh, living with a spouse, sharing the responsibility with your children, you are so much blessed. But if you are alone, then the more that you fight for your children. I, kung single parent ka, lalo kang lumaban the more you stand firm because the next generation deserve a better generation than us. Kumalang pa kayo, pwede yun. I don't know about you, but my, I, for some people who've known me, who've re- heard me talk, I would always say, why do I do what I do? This is for my children. My children will be reporting to the generation next to me, not yet them. So if I don't share, if I do, don't do my job to the generation na- next to me, Saan magre-report yung mga anak ko? I mean, you, to all the parents out there, to all the seniors there, I'm not talking about only senior citizens. What I'm saying, for those of you um, who joins me in this round, that God have been blessing us. We've, we've, you know, we've accomplished so much in life. We've, uh, God have been faithful to our family. We've been faithful to us. Yes, maybe there are lapses. Hey, let's, let's not stop. Regardless of your age, don't stop. The world needs you. The world needs us. Come on now. I mean, age is just a number to many. But to me, age is a gift. If you are 60, 70, and you're alive today, keep fighting for the next generations. We need you. There's so much wisdom in your head. There's so much wisdom in your experience. There's so much in you. And what do you do? You stay at home. Feel pity to yourself. Don't. Yeah. And to all the people in the house, and if you're watching, 
if you got a parents in the house, say your citizen app, or if you've got an elder in the house na feeling mo ang kulit-kulit, that's how you call them, ang kulit nila, ang tigas ng ulo, ano ba yung unmanageable and all, please, alright, please, would you please do me a favor, bring them in, bring them in, bigyan nyo lang ng pangkape, yeah, bring them in, we'll take care of them, yeah, bring them in in the morning, sunduin mo na lang sa hapon, we'll take care of them, ano, oh, no, no, no we're, we're, we're not, ano, ano tawag nyo ba doon? Hindi, hindi kami foster house. No, 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 no. We're not in there. Sabi nila, Tagal, ano ba yun? Coffee shop, coffee shop kami. Madali, kalma. Akala nyo, ha? Oo, na, na-hit ko yun, eh. Oo, kitang-kita ko. Baka magko-comment na kayo. So, ano pong pangalan? Oh, diba, ganun. Hindi po. Kayo talaga. I got you. Here's the thing. I want you to bring over these people you believe, alright, do nothing and just mess up with your business. Ang makulit, alam mo yun? Bakit alam? Mera, dali nyo po sila dito. Alright? Our vice chairman, our operations manager, Rizel, okay, hindi po siya matanda, okay? But she've got, trust me, she've got a big heart for the elders. We've got Celia, okay? We've got rocking chair in the house. We've got books in the house. We've got, and you tell me, eh, hey, coach, ano ka second floor, mahirap umakyat. My mother-in-law, 94 years old, umaakyat sa hagdanan. Yeah. We've got somebody, uh, si Tatay Ben, okay. Ay, babasahin ko lang po to. Sabi ni Coach Genty, sometimes people on the bench can see things on a different per perspective. Tama yan talaga. O, sumuma lang pa kayo mga nasa bench. Totoo yan, diba? We've, we've, got a, um, we've got a man, si Tatay Ben, okay. Wala na po siya ngayon, kasama na siya napapakos sa langit. But Tatay Ben, a year before he died, was just here, coming over. Okay, nobody talks to him in the house. He's like 92, I think. Tatay Ben's 92. He would come here, feel better, feel good. Um, come on now. If, if you've got elders in the house and you feel there's... Kalat lang sila sa bahay niyo, magulo sila sa bahay niyo. Could you just do me the favor? Pakidala niyo lang po sila dito sana. Ayan, tuwan-tuwa na po yung OM namin. Hinahanap po niya kayo. Okay, naitay, okay? Kung kayo po ay nandyan sa bahay at nakikinig po kayo, okay, tinatawagan ko po kayo, parang radyo lang, di ba? O radio station. <laughs> okay, and we mean it po. Okay, with all due respect to all of you, if you visit um, Life Coach Philippines, I did one um, talk, and I'm really inviting the elders. I, I really want the elders to be coaching. Alam niyo po kung bakit? Ayan, sige, kukulang sa promotion to si Coach. Oh, tuma, tulungan niyo naman si Coach Rizel. You know why? I don't understand this. I don't understand this. You know, elders, yeah, of course, they might be so meticulous. Yes, I hear you say, eh, Coach, ang kulit. Or I hear you say, Coach, paulit-ulit. Yeah, I hear you. But here's the thing. Could you please, I challenge you, look beyond that portion. They're not so good. Because you know what, the elders, they're so full of wisdom. They have full of experiences. I mean, nothing beats experiences. Tama po ba? Yes. Oh, tama po. Diba, mabuhay po tayo. Huh? I have elders in the house. Makikita nyo sila sa picture. Yeah, totoo po may elders ito. Kala nyo nag-joke ka ba eh. Mamaya po, hintayin yung picture namin. But beautiful elders. Um, my father died at the age of 67, but he was very active. And I'm sure kung buhay si papa ko ngayon, nandito pa rin siya ngayon. It's just, you know, helping all the... Please, don't despise the wisdom of the elders. And that is the reason why, elders, if you're watching, join me in the profession. Ta trust me, this is for you. Okay? Ang dami-dami pong mga tao sa mundo na kailangan ng wisdom ninyo. Yeah. Yung mga tao po dati po, di ba, nakikipag-gera nga kayo, buhay kayo. Yung mga tao po ngayon, mawalan lang ng boyfriend, girlfriend, nagpapakamatay. Okay, tanyo po? Oo. Oh. Oh, pwede po malakpak. Di ba, totoo? Let me repeat that. Nung unang panahon, okay, syempre wala ako doon, nabasa ko lang. Ayun naman. Nung unang panahon, si Lolo, si Lolo, nakikipag-gera yan, buhay sila. Oh, tas kayo ngayon, nawalan na ng boyfriend, girlfriend, nagpapakamate ko. Di ba ang gagaling ng mga Lolo at Lolo? Oh, come on now. Kayo kaya ang lumaban sa gera at nabuhay kayo. Ayaw nyo ba? Don't you think we can really learn from them? Come on, do you agree with me? Oh. We learn from computers. They learn from experiences in life. Isn't it beautiful? Yes. Oo. Oh. Diba? Anong gusto nila kaya makulit? Walang kausap. Hindi po kasi kinakausap. 
Kaya wala na kaya makulit. Pag kinausap ka pa ulit-ulit kasi hindi mo naman sinabi sa kanyang, "Nay, naririnig ko po kayo." Yun kasi yun. Mag-confirm ka kasi. O di ba pag nagte-text ka rin, pag hindi sumasagot, inuulit-ulit mo rin. Hindi eh, makulit ka rin. Oh. You know different. Tama tama po ba? Sabi ko po sa inyo, mahal namin kayo eh. Excited po talaga kami pag nakakita kami ng ganyan. Tuwa-tuwa po si Rizel kanina. Oo, oh, excited. Kulang na lang po hatakin ako para kausapin ko kayo. Ka. Yeah, chairman! Ganon. So, our, our, our vice chairman, our operations manager, she's here po from opening to closing. Ganon po yun. Ka, ano, bata pa po kasi kaya kayang-kaya niya, okay? So, wag po kayo mag-alala. Hindi po niya mapapabayaan niya si Lola. Si Lolo, kayang-kaya niya yan. And there's a lot of guests in the house namin na ganyan po yung age. Tapos pinupuntahan lang siya. And we would always joke on her. We would always tell her, Lolo niya, Lola niya, ganon. We always joke it, but... Really, she got that heart for the elders. Kung ang heart ko po ay mga mentally challenged people, si Rizel po, gusto niya po talaga yung mga gray hair. Yan. So whether by age or by nature, punta lang po kayo dito, kailangan po kayo ni Coach Rizel. Tama ba, Coach Rizel? Yes. Nawala. Ayun, masaya po siya. Oo, sa totoo lang. Alright, so, purpose. Okay, kala nyo, babalik ako sa inyo. Pinasaya ko lang kayo. Okay. Right now, right here. I'm sure you're a member of the house. Tama po? Lahat tayo may pamilya? Di coach, dalawa lang kami sa bahay. O di membro ka pa rin ng pamilya. Kahit dalawa lang kayo, strength in numbers, dalawa eh. More than one. O di numbers. Tama? O, eh, pag pagrason, eh, dalawa lang kami numbers. One, two, numbers. Tama, tama? Minsan kasi ginagawa nyo komplikado ang buhay. O sabi ko, narinig ko kayo, dalawa lang kami numbers. O number, one, two. Di ba? More than one, may S, numbers. Okay. Here's what you do. If you're a member of the family, you're a member of a community, tama po, may komunidad kayo, yung bahay po ninyo ang tawag doon community. Yan. Kung wala po kayong bahay, tapos nomad lang kayo, punta kayo sa dika para may community kayo. Alright? If you're a member of a family, a community, an organization, um, whatever, uh, basketball team, here's the thing. I really want to challenge all of you. Kasama po yung mga nakaupo, kala niyo exempted kayo ah. Ano ba talaga yung role mo dyan? Ano ba talaga yung purpose mo? Di ba? A lot of times you complain, di na ako masaya sa work ko. Ayoko na to, mag-redesign ako. Di ba? Yung boss ko, da 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 Ano ba talaga kasi yung purpose mo? Ay baka naman nasa mali kang opisina. O baka naman nandyan ka lang dahil gusto mo yung pera. Pero hindi naman pala yan ang purpose mo talaga sa buhay. Tapos nagko-complain kang miserable ka. Eh, ikong gumawa ng desisyon. Ayan, tumahimik po sila kasi tinatamaan po sila. So, sana lang po may voice kayo dyan. Diba? Hello po. Yes? Sino lang ako net? Taas ang kamay. Oh, ngumiti na lang. Ayaw ngumiti. Ayaw magtaas ng kamay. Okay, can you connect with me? Yeah. Can you just check it out what is really your purpose? At work, in the team, in the barangay or maybe in a, in an organization sometimes you you put yourself as a member of an organizations right tapos sasabihin mo i'm not growing in the organization hello if you're not gonna do anything just sit down wait ka talaga mag-grow tama correct yes. kahit po isang daang organisasyon ang samahan niyo if you will not be actively participating and doing your role obviously you're not gonna grow right so what's your role what's your purpose Together with the purpose, your mission, your purpose, your calling, no matter how you call it, ito lang po yan, ang, ang, ang layman's term yan. Bakit ka ba talaga nandun? Bakit ka ba talaga nandun? For the family, huwag mo akong sagutin. Okay? Some people would say, eh wala, eh membro ako ng pamilyang to, wala akong magawa. Sana nga nakapagpili ako, hindi mo nga napipili yon. So malamang dapat lang na hindi ka pumili. I'll tell you why. Okay, I'll tell you why. Sasagutin din po kita. Many times you tell, to, um, pagkagalit ka sa pamilya mo, okay? Don't get me wrong, okay? Okay, I'm not despising people with dysfunctional relationships. Been there, I know that. I have my share of dysfunctional family. I have my share of broken relationship. But here's the thing. Many times we always say, kung makakapili lang ako ng pamilya. And you've heard people say that. Hindi po kayo yun, mababait kayo eh. Okay? Yung mga kilala nyo lang. Okay? So, para po ito sa mga kakilala natin, mabuhay yung mga kakilala natin. Hindi po sa atin, tama? Ayaw nyo sumagot eh. Okay? You said, kung nakapili lang ako ng pamilya, Okay. If I can only choose, yeah. hindi ikaw ang kapatid ko, hindi ikaw mag- You always say that. But I'll tell you, let me challenge you. Lahat ba ng desisyon na ginawa mo sa buhay mo, tama? 
Never ka bang nagkamali? Lahat ba ng taong kakilala ka, gusto ka? Eto, lahat ba ng taong pinili mo, tama? Lahat ba ng tao na kasama mo ngayon, tama? Oo. Oh. Tapos sinabi mo pa na sana ikaw ang pumili ng pamilya mo? Wow! Eh kung ikaw ang pumili ng pamilya mo, baka mas talo kang miserable. Diba? Mas kawawa, diba? Oh. Oh, ano? Yes? Oh, reminder, point number one pa lang yun. Di pa ako tapos. May dalawa pa ako. Okay? Can you connect? There are things in life that is so divine, so let's not touch on it. Clear? <laughs> tumahimik sila. Third. Nagkaka-stiff neck. Oh. Galaw, galaw daw po. May stiff neck na daw po kayo. Hello? Oo. Some people would say, I don't want to move coach, baka malaglag. Hindi, okay lang yan. May replay. So, pwede yung panoorin yung replay. Alright? So, there are things that are divine. There are things that already set in design. Okay? There are things that already been set or uh, destined. But, how do we respond to it will make us win or lose the fight. And all of these things will come into play when you get to understand that whether you're two, you're three, you're four, you're five, 25, 100, 1,000, no matter where you go, if you don't get to understand your purpose, it's not gonna work. Go back to your purpose. Go back to your mission. Go back to why you're there. Because when you understand your purpose, you will understand and receive your value. Many times, you don't understand your value, that's why you're miserable. But apart from purpose, you cannot understand your value. If you agree with me, can you just give me some MOG? Okay? And if you believe this is something that can help other people, share it. Alright? Okay? Now, on my number two. Ooh. Breathe in. <laughs> All right. If you know your purpose, now, the strengths in number, okay, will come into play if you also know your personal strengths. Yeah. Of course, together with personal strengths, you're going to know your personal weaknesses, right? Which you don't want to talk about, okay, but I'm sure you're thinking right now. Understanding your purpose goes without saying, evaluate your strengths. Many times we miss the game, we miss the mark, we miss winning. I just want to say hello, Haley. Hi, I miss you, Haley, uh, the youngest member of our tribe. Okay. We look forward to have her as the youngest life coach. Go, Haley! All right. Many times we miss the mark, we miss to win the battle because you want to do things that is not according to your strength. Growing up, growing up, we were trained, all right, or we normally hear, pag saan ka mahina, magpagaling ka. Tama? Pag mahina ka sa math, mag-aral ka kasi. Mahina sa English, mag-practice ka kasi. Mahina nga. Right? Um, strength finders, Galo, talks about, hello, talks about operate in your strength zone. Operate where you're good at. Operate where you're great at. Correct? Okay. Your purpose definitely goes hand in hand with your strengths. You were made, you were created, you were really launched to the world with strengths. But many times, you look into your weakness. You complain on the things na wala ka. Kung matangkad lang ako, kung mataas ako, kung matalino ko, kung ganito ako. Kung... Hey, I hear you. Could, could you please look inside of you and say, what are you great at? What are you good at? What are you excellent at? What can you do? Right? Many times, we try to fit in, trying to press things that we're not good at just to fit in. Alam niyo yung gano'n? Yung makasama lang? Yeah. If you want to thrive, a 
as a singer, pupunta ka ba doon sa mga hindi kumakanta? No. You go with the people who sings, right? Okay? Some people really press hard, 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 and harder just to achieve things that they're not. You know what happens with that? Envy comes in. You become envious of other people. You become envious of what they have. You keep comparing yourself. Why well, I don't have it? Why da 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 da? And everything. Hey, God created you with purpose, and so God given you the strength, the gifts, and everything that goes with it for you to accomplish that purpose. If I take off the divine portion, I'm sure you would still agree with me. Okay, sabi nyo, Coach, I akala ko ba walang religion? Okay, let me take the divine portion. I'm sure you would agree with, with me that at least there's one thing that you're great at doing. Agree? Meron? Yes. Ah, Tapos ito, ang sagot, narinig kita. Okay, meron akong kakilala, sagot nyo sa kanil. Eh, hindi naman napagkakapirahan yung, ano, yung galing ko. Sino ba yung sabi sa'yo? Maybe you just don't know how. Right? Right. Oh, I'll tell you a story. Artists, painters, okay, created people. They would always say na, wala namang pera dito eh. Wala namang bumibili. Yeah, sure. I've seen people in the short Boracay, they're doing their paintings for about 200 pesos, 400 pesos. And it, the painting is really great. But I've seen painters, I've met painters, one, one piece of art that you cannot even understand why they can sell it at 300,000. 300,000, 50,000. We've hosted a lot of, here's the thing, we've hosted a couple of art exhibits here in the coffee shop. And there was this one pencil. It was made by pencil. As in a pencil, uh, naka-frame siya. Nothing really extravagant with that. And if you don't see the signature, you will not buy it. That painting costs around 50000 and there's this painting that I really wanted to buy. And that painting to me, all right, can cost you 100,000. But that painting was being sold only for 300, for 3,000 pesos. And I said, no way. This is a huge painting. The artist put a lot of efforts in here, everything. How could you sell it for 3,000 pesos? Think of the time, the paints, and everything, the brushes. I don't know. So what's my point? You don't operate in the space where your strength is being celebrated. I'm going to borrow this from Joshua Galeraga. He, one, one of my discussions with him is our spiritual um, guide, he, he, um, spiritual leader. He would say, um, I bet maybe it's a time you look to be in a tribe where you are taught, you are celebrated and not simply tolerated. And I think that's a beautiful thing to begin with. Many times we insist ourselves to people who are just tolerating us where we can be in a tribe where we are being celebrated, isn't it? Yes. Come on now, come on now. Yes. Yeah. So why insist yourself to people who's rejecting you? And then you cry over spilled, oh, they're rejecting me. I'm so kawawa and all, hello, you're making a decision to stay with the tribe who's bullying you. Get out of that. <laughs> come on, get out of that. Yes. Ah, come here. Oh, we're, we're, there's, num there's strength in our numbers. Marami kami. Marami kaya dito. Kala mo, punta ka dito. Marami kami. Kala mo lang, di ba? We're, we're, go and be part of a tribe who will just welcome you and will allow you to be you, okay, and help you to be better each day. Okay? It's like if you're sick. Come on out. If you're sick, you could hardly move. And then you go to a gymnasium. And a lot of people are so active. What do you feel? Bad. Oh, I'm so kawawa, I cannot play. Eh, siyempre, di ba may sakit ka? Di dapat sa ospital ka. Punta ka sa ospital, aalagaan ka. I mean, sometimes we just don't see the strength. But not because you're sick. There's nothing in you. That's not true. Alright? You're still, there's still a well-being in you. Ibang tao nga po, walang sakit, pero nag-aarting sakit, may sakit. Ay, sorry. <laughs> Hindi po ako yan. Sabi ko sa inyo, may totoong tao dito. Right? When we talk about, I'm gonna share, uh, this is not original for me, this is from Dr. Castillo. He's a psychiatrist. He said, mental well-being is thinking, feeling, and behaving. Some people are clinically diagnosed, nagbe-medicine, pero they think well, they feel well, they act well. And they're very functional. 
yung iba po kahit anong diag kahit anong test wala namang sakit sa utak walang wala namang problema sa utak wala namang problema sa katawan pero kung makaarte parang may sakit gusto lang niya ang ibig pong sabihin doon sabi namin pasintabi po masama lang ang ugali tapos sasabihin depressed ako hindi masama ang ugali mo <laughs> so hindi ka depressed or sometimes there are people na tamad lang alam niyo po yung tamad di ba word of god says sluggard di ba Ayaw lang magtrabaho, lagi lang late, 'di ba? Tamad lang talaga, bum lang. Kasi sabi niya, "I'm depressed." Anong depressed? Nagpa-party ka nga, paano ka naging depressed? Eh kaya nga ako nagpa-party kasi I'm depressed. Hello. If you can plan for your party, how can you be depressed? We've met a lot of people in the house who are depressed. Minsan po kasi talaga niloloko mo lang yung sarili mo eh. 'Di ba? Now, we're not condemning you. If that's where you are today, all right, but you want to be better, you want to improve, you lack inspiration, you lack acceptance, you lack affirmation, whatever you lack, please come to the house. Come to the house. We've got like 72 life coaches in the house. You, you'll find your match here. There are beautiful people in the house. There are beautiful souls in the house. Okay? At alam niyo po yung pagiging mabuti ng kalooban, nakakahawa po yan. Kahit yung mga hindi namin coaches dito, mababait silang tao. I remember si Coach Sheila, may dinala siyang tao dito, di ba? Sabi, ano ba yung mga tao dito? Naka-drugs ba? Kasi masaya sila. Hindi, hindi po kami nagdadrugs. Oo, oh, wag po kayo magpunta dito na naka-drugs. May police po dito. <laughs> Mauhuli po kayo. Oo. Oh, oh. So, you know, joy is contagious. Would you agree with me? Yes. It's contagious. Beautiful hearts are very contagious. Di ba? Depressed ka na nga. Ayaw mo pang lumabas, Coach. May social anxiety ko. Labas ka dito. Punta ka lang dito. Trust me, meron kaming white wall. Have you ever been to the coffee shop? Meron kaming white wall. Doon, no? So, marami kaming tao. Doon, humaharap lang sila sa white wall. After a while, they feel better. So, dito ka lang pumunta. Di ba? Tapos yung white wall, may makikita kang may TV. Tapos may mga pagkain lumalabas doon. Tapos may mga gandang muka doon. And you feel better, right? Oh, sige. Oo. Okay lang tayo. Nandito pa po ako. May point number three pa ako. Hinanap yung white wall. Ayun po yung white wall. Ang daming white wall dito. What I'm saying, you know your strengths. Okay. You know, many people will come and say, Coach, I don't know my strengths. You know, it's not true. It's just that you you are in a point where Ian, you don't believe in your strength. Or you doubt your strength because somebody doubted you. Or maybe your strength have put you into disgrasya in the past or you know put you in, in a bad light in the past maybe you had a different experience with your strength yeah um, it's okay past is past let's move on right um, I'm, I have a very strong personality and to many people who knows me uh, they know that I would always ask before before po yun hindi na ngayon that I would ask God bakit hindi angelic yung face ko ganun diba I, I, I wanted that because I believe um Sabi ko si Karen, si Karen here. Ay, sinabi ko yung pangalan niya. Sorry, Karen. Um, I have a guest here. Um, sorry, Karen. She's in my class. And, hi, Coach Claire. We miss you, attorney. Oh, wala si attorney Claire dito. Andito si Coach Celia. And sabi ko kay, kay Karen, si Karen kasi got um, an angelic face. You know that? There, there, there's some people who, pag angelic face, they kind of attract you or you are more comfortable talking to them. So, I, I've been teaching most of the time. I've been teaching in the church. I've been, you know, engaging with people. And I asked God, I told God, sana, no, angelic yung face ko. Siguro ko angelic face ako, mas maganda. Parang mas bagay. Pero you you kind of understand that your features, your your, your features, you, the way you talk, the way you dress, the whole of you have purpose. And that is all part of your strength. If only, all right, if only you're gonna talk to the people who will lift you up and see the potentials in you. If you don't have that in your life today, please come home. We welcome you at Nika Coffee Republic. We, we're looking for you. Okay, if you feel that all your strengths, your body appreciates that, come over. Let's look into your strengths. Let's celebrate your strengths. Because I believe there is always that strength. So whether you are proud of your strength, okay, when I say proud, nilalabas mo, tinatago mo sa kusina, tinatago mo sa banyo, please come over, enjoy it. All right, so that's strength. On my number three, and, okay, so you've got your purpose, you've got your strength. Would you like to guess the third? What's the third? Weakness. Kasi amin na po yun eh, pag inaral natin yung strength mo, gikita mo na yung strength, yung weaknesses mo, right? What's on the third? Come on now. 
You know what's the third? Your skills. Your skill sets. Your skill sets. Your skills are there to match your strength and your purpose. If you are in a team, all right, you are in a family, you are in an office, you have a skill set that will make that group thrive. Okay, so what do you do with your strength? What do you do with your strengths? You strengthen it. What do you do with your skills? You fine tune it, you harness it, you nurture it, you practice it, and you allow yourself to shine out of your skill sets. But many times you feel you feel inferior of your skill sets. How many of you feels that? Right? Again, babalik pa rin tayo. If your skill sets, okay, is into creatives, you're good in, in creative works, at nasa engineering company ka, malamang walang mag-appreciate sa'yo doon. E di pumunta kaya doon sa mga creative artists din? You getting my point? You might be at the wrong place. You might be pushing yourself with the wrong tribe. You might be in the wrong group. That's why you don't get to celebrate your skill sets. Okay. But all skill sets, would you agree with me, are your opportunity for greatness. Walang tao, walang skills. Wala po. You know, even plumbing, tinan nyo lang, pag walang plumber, kung anong nangyari sa atin. Barado lahat, tama po ba? Come on now. Pag walang carpenter, anong nangyari sa atin? Hindi man natin pwedeng i-automate ang bahay eh. Okay, enter! House build. Walang ganun. Nakakita kayo yung bahay? Wala pa. Diba? Tapos pinipindot-pindot kahit gano'ng kaganda yung app mo. Walang app na ganun. Gravel and sand. Push! Okay. Ah, okay, window. Walang ganun. Carpenters on the call. Correct? Tama po? Wala pa. Ay, meron na ba? Kung meron, correct me. The last time I checked, wala kayong app na pwedeng tututin at lalabas ang bahay mo. Meron? Wala. See? Driver. Okay. Nakakita na po ba kayo ngayon na sasakyan? Na tumatakbo mag-isa, walang nagdadrive? Wala. But I tell you, even driving got the skills. May magagaling po talagang driver. Pwede kang matulog. Ang mga driver na ano... Walang tulog. Ano daw? <laughs> Oo, di ba? So, who got skills here? Sino may skills? Taas ang kamay. W- wala, Janet. Kinabahan ako ah. Who got skills here? Okay. Are you able to monetize your skill sets? Does the person next to you knows that that is your skill? Does the fa- you, the, your family knows that is your skills? Yes. Does the people knows that? I mean, the world knows that? Yes. Siguraduhin nyo yan. Siguraduhin nyo yan. I mean, those are the things that you may want to check on right now. Maybe the reason why you feel you're not thriving with the group because you are not operating on purpose, with strengths, and your skill sets. Okay. So, we're talking about championship culture. To begin with, we're talking about the strengths in number, correct? So come into play. Let's sum it up. Let's pack this together. Our topic for today for tonight is strengths in number, but I'll talk about your purpose, your strengths, your skill set. So where's the strength in number? Do you know where's the strength in numbers? If you do your if you know your purpose in a group if you operate on your strengths and you are perfectly using exercising delivering your skill sets but here's the thing even if you do that there will be no strengths in number if you don't operate okay just si OM ko. Kailangan mo to. OM, makinig ka dito. Na mo, hindi niya ako narinig. Okay. If you are on purpose, you know your purpose, it's your strengths, and you've got the skill sets. And we all come together 
there will still no strengths in our number if there's no unity. Strengths in number is vested on unity. Unity. That's where the strength in number comes from. It's in unity. We can all know our purpose, operating on the strengths, and we're so skilled at what we're doing. But there, if there's no unity in our team, in your family, in your office, there's no strength in numbers. Strength in numbers is actually a reality of unity, whether in family, whether at work, whether in a team. Now, unity begins with you understanding that for you to stand, you have to be united with someone else. United we stand, divided we fall. Strength in number is all about unity. You only exercise that if you know exactly that you alone is no one and nothing, but together with the team whom you can identify yourself. You can be unified with the, with the, with the self and with the people around you, then you see the strengths in number. You can be a thousand out there, but if you have no unity, you cannot beat five people out here standing in unified reason, purpose, and being towards a purpose, the goal, and the mission we're called to do. Good night, everyone. This is Coach A. Thank you for joining me tonight.